Hey guys, this is my 2021 CSCTT 250. Uh, I just hit 200 miles on it. I saw in the manual where it said you need to change it 200 miles. I actually called CSC and they said I could wait till 500 when I checked the valve spacing, but I decided it'd be a good idea just to change it out 200. So there is your oil drain plug. And I believe right here is the filter drain plug. How it looks. So you will need a 17 millimeter socket to get the drain plug out, which is located on the bottom here. I wonder if we'll be able to be quick enough to pull it out without getting oil on my fingers. Ready, set, go! Ah, look at that. Wow, oh, I'm pretty proud. I always love smelling the oil. Oh shoot, did I not? Oh, I didn't lift that up. <laughs> I don't have a bike stand either, so I have to lean it up to get the rest of the oil out. I did watch that there isn't an actual oil filter. I guess there's one internally, but you don't have to change it regularly. There is a, a little like trap for metal shavings and stuff, which I believe is in here. So we'll take that off next. And I believe this is where your uh, oil filter and spring comes out of. And it's a 24 millimeter, which I hope I have. Oh, I'll need an extension on that one. Well, that's why we got rags, right? Okay. Spring. And then. You got your little filter. Looks pretty clean, not a lot of metal shavings, but it's only got 200 miles. We'll get this cleaned off with some WD-40 and and we'll go from there. Just got it cleaned off. Also, I was told not to use full synthetic um, on the first oil change. I guess you can after a thousand miles, um, but yeah, just uh, standard oil. Four stroke, make sure it's motorcycle rated oil. Get your new oil. Put a little bit around the, around the ring surface here. And Put some on your rubber gasket in here. And then put it all back together. Have your filter in there. Okay. Going back in there. Get it tightened up, cleaned up, and then get the new oil back in there. And just snug. So I got this. Valve line, four stroke motorcycle oil, 10W40. Get a clean funnel. All right, then put one cord in. Let it run for a minute or so, and then check the oil level, which is right here in the window. Okay, shut it off, and then tilt it upright, and then see how much oil you'll need. So it's barely even pulling up 
on the window at all. So let me put a little bit more. And the oil should be right at that line. So we are good. And if you need to add more, then just add a little bit more. So yeah, um, I hope this was helpful to you. I'm, I'm definitely no teacher, but thought I would film and show how hard of a job it was. And it definitely wasn't a hard job at all. Let it warm up for a bit and then check for any leaks. And we will see you on the road. God dang it. Don't you hate when you get all ready and you forget to strap up your helmet? Cool. Well, oil level looks good. No leaks. That's a win. If you found this video helpful at all, uh, hit that like and subscribe if you want to see more videos on this TT250. Uh, I should be doing more videos in the future. Thank you all for watching so much. It means a lot. I hope you all have an awesome week ahead and we'll see you later on.